Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna sound like a broken record because this is probably all the videos you're gonna get <laughs> this month, but I have another unboxing, unbagging for you guys. I've been a naughty girl buying purse after purse after, you know, my birth, and I had zero shopping, zero leaving my house, and it was like I was a caged wild animal and just went to town. Waking up at 3 a.m. and staying up on eBay because your baby likes to sleep on you from 4 a.m., 3 a.m. and onwards is not good. But the positive is that I'm saving money. So let's focus on the positive and that thanks to the baby keeping me up at night, um, I'm able to find these good deals late, 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 late at night. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys this new bag, well new to me, so I, again, this is a bag that I saw in 2020 at Neiman Marcus, in the Chanel Neiman Marcus, and I loved it, um, but I was like, oh my gosh, it was like over $3,000 or something like that, and I was like, oh, I don't know, and I had just bought the On The Go MM, so I felt like, geez, I just, like, bought a bag I don't want to buy another one like in the same day but I loved it and again I was I was on eBay board looking if you don't know rebag like fashion file and I believe the real real they have eBay stores and a lot of these bags are on the real on, are on the rebag website as well as on eBay they just have different pricing why I don't know most of the time on eBay it's a little cheaper and then eBay has coupon codes you can use so I was able to score this um, I've mentioned the prices in all the videos I was able to score this bag from it was over three thousand dollars listed on rebag and then it went on sale for twenty seven hundred and then I used a coupon and it was around twenty five hundred so I got this bag for twenty five hundred plus tax I think it was like twenty seven fifty six or something like that so like I said, it's not what you think. I mean, who knows? This is like very specific collection. So it's probably not what you think at all. <laughs> like there's been like hundreds of purses that came out, but I feel this goes back to like what's in the denim situation, but it's fun. So I can't believe I found this for that price. And I got, this is the, Ch the Chanel Jungle Denim. This collection came out in 2020 and it has really pretty fabric um, all up in the chain instead of leather. The bag is denim and it has banana leaves, um, which I kind of love because I'm Cuban, so I feel like it was meant to be. Um, it has banana leaves in like this pretty light blue and like lavender color throughout and it's just literally in great condition. There is some little like dirt spots I would say not dirty but a, I bought let me show you guys I purchased this at Angelus um, gentle foam cleaner and you don't have to wash this off I will link it for you guys I purchased it off Amazon and I'm gonna test like a little spot on it because all it is is like surface dirt there's no stains or anything on it it just needs a good little a good little you know zhuzh and then I bought a horse hair brush, so I'm going to give it a little clean, um, which just also makes it feel better because um, it is, you know, a pre-owned bag. And then the hardware literally has no scratches whatsoever. I'm so excited to use this. This is so fun. And I feel like this is so me. And I'm glad that, I'm glad and grateful I was able to purchase it and for such a good price. Um, definitely, this is like the cheapest you could get it, or at least I saw. I will link some below, but... Most of the listings are for over $3,000. Uh, the back does not have like the classic, um, I think it's called the, the Mona Lisa pocket or whatever, but it looks like this. Ooh, that's a little fuzz, sorry. Sorry, you caught my eye. So, and I love like really soft, non-structured bags. Um, there's another one from Chanel that's denim in green and it's kind of like acid wash that I love, but those are going for like, seven eight thousand dollars i'm like no um i saw those this on vestiaire i'm sorry i can't pronounce the website going for seven thousand dollars i was like okay that's kind of crazy but anyway so it has a classic chanel turn lock which i love it makes me feel so just something about it and look how fun the inside is guys it has the little chanel logos sprinkled you know in it and 
look how fun that is i just love it so much this is the shit that just it's like drug in my veins you know what i mean like a good bag like this so i absolutely love it again i will link some similar ones down below and um like i said i did purchase this from rebag via ebay and a cool thing about ebay again is that any bag over $500 will go straight to eBay they authenticate it if it's not real they give you your money back send the bag back to the fakers and then you know it's like no risk and if it is they attach like a really cool little verification thing and it's just it's just so profesh and then the eBay those bags are really nice they're like embroidered and really thick and then this bag just came with the authentication card, which is, to be honest, what's most important to me. Like I mentioned in the other video, I don't keep any boxes anymore. So at the time, um, they weren't doing the chips yet, so it did come with the authenticity card, which is awesome. Um, definitely an added plus. But I just feel like this was a, another steal of the century, another basically free bag. <laughs> That's how I always say it. Um... But yeah, I love it. I will show you guys, or maybe like, let me know if you're interested in making a video of how I clean this. Because like I said, it just has a little bit of surface, a little bit of surface like dirt stains. But other than that, it looks, it looks amazing. It's in amazing condition. Like literally no loose threads, nothing. It looks fantastic for being a four-year-old bag. Whoever, you know, whoever had this did not really use it much so thank you um your trash is my treasure i mean not that you threw it away but you know what i mean but anyway if you guys enjoy these types of videos please subscribe i'd love to have you and i'll see you guys on the next one bye